Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, or whatever it is there. This is Tom with AI for Us 50 Plus, and I've got something that's going to blow your mind today. You know that feeling when you ask an AI a question and you get back an answer that's longer than a Stephen King novel and about as organized as a teenager's bedroom? Well, ChatGPT just released a hidden feature that transforms it from that know-it-all friend who talks too much into your personal tutor and one who actually knows how to teach. I'm talking about turning artificial intelligence into your learning part, your educational wingman. This new study learn feature offers a tutoring engine, Socratic questioning, and knowledge assessments. But this isn't just about getting better answers. This is about creating a learning experience that adapts to you, your age, your learning style, your interests, even your location. So grab your favorite beverage, settle in, and let's turn ChatGPT into your personal university. So here we are on the ChatGPT screen that you've probably stared at more than your own reflection lately. Down by the prompt box, where we usually type in our exi existential crises, you'll spot a little tool button or maybe a plus icon. Think of this as the secret door to the VIP section of AI land. When we click it, a menu pops up like a jack in the box. And the star of today's show is sitting right at the top. Study and learn. This is basically you telling the AI, hey, I'm not here to ask you to write my grocery list. I'm here to actually understand something and I'm willing to do the work. It's like switching from casual dating to a committed relationship with knowledge. Now to really show you the difference this makes, I'm going to throw it a complex question. I've typed in, what is an ocean personality assessment and what's its purpose? How can it help me grow? Can I use it to combat loneliness? Now this is the kind of question that would normally get you a response longer than a CVS receipt. But watch this magic happen. Before it even starts explaining, it says, great question, Tom. Let's break this down and build a foundation together, step by step. See that? It's not dumping information on me like I'm a data dumpster. It's actually talking to me, not at me. It explains that ocean is a framework used in psychology to describe human personality traits. It's also called the big five personality traits, uh, which are openness, conscientiousness, extroversion, agreeableness, and neuroticism, for what it's worth. Then it hits me with the heading, what's the purpose? It breaks everything down into bullet points that actually make sense. This is like having someone organize your mental closet. Suddenly, everything has a place. But this is where I fell in love with study mode. For my question about growth, it creates this absolutely beautiful table that's more organized than my wife's spice racks. And that says a lot, by the way. It shows trait by trait what high and low scores mean. It even includes a growth opportunity column with personalized suggestions. It's not just describing me, it's giving me a roadmap. And for the loneliness question, it creates a whole section with specific strategies. But here's the kicker. At the very end, it drops this mini checkpoint on me. It actually asks, which of these five traits do you think might be the most important for your growth right now? The AI just hit the pause button on its own lecture to check if I'm absorbing this stuff. It's what every great teacher does. They stop and ask, are you with me? What are you thinking? And if you are as amazed as I am by this, do me a quick favor. Hit that like button right now. This is just the beginning, and I want to make sure that YouTube knows that people like you want to see more content about AI tools that actually make your life better. And if you're new here, consider subscribing because I'm constantly discovering hidden gems like this. Okay, back to blowing your mind. So there I was, staring at this checkpoint question. But to give it a real answer, I needed my actual personality test results, not just my vague sense that I'm probably somewhere in the middle on most things. So I went hunting for a free personality test. I landed on a site called Truity and got my results, and I came back to our chat. Now, there are many other free tools like this I could have chosen, but I used this one because 
it sounded right. So I posted my test scores right there in this conversation. And this is where things get real. We're about to make this AI conversation as personal as your browser history. With my results in the chat, I got vulnerable with, here are my ocean results. What surprised me the most was that the one value changed drastically from four years ago. My neuroticism dropped from 95 to 31. That kind of implies that these results aren't cast in stone. Is that correct? Now, I'm not just asking for information. I'm bringing data. I'm sharing a personal revelation. And I'm forming my own theory. I've actually turned ChatGPT into my thinking partner. And the AI's response? It starts with, yes, your assumption is absolutely correct. Then it immediately proves that it was paying attention by creating a section, let's break it down. Trait change over time. It's not just acknowledging my change, it's celebrating it and giving me the science behind what I experienced. It says, neuroticism, your biggest shift, is the most likely of the big five traits to decrease with age and self-development. Now, a drop from 95 to 31, that's huge. Then it explains that this reflects things like increased emotional regulation and life experience. <laughs> this is like having a therapist with access to all the research papers in the world. Then it follows up with another quick self-check, asking if this reflects specific work I've done and giving me thinking prompts. Have you changed how you manage stress? Adopted new habits like journaling? Meditation? It's giving me a framework to explore my own growth. After I explained about the pandemic stress that we were all under four years ago and my conscious efforts to manage anxiety, the AI creates this beautiful then versus now analysis. For back then, it says my high score likely reflected real emotional strain, not just your core personality. It's distinguishing between who I am and what I was going through. Then it drops this gem. Your personality is like a compass, not a cage. It points you in certain directions, but you can choose the path. That's something going on a coffee mug and a t-shirt somewhere. But here's where this AI knocks my socks off. It says, let's connect this back to your original goal, combating loneliness as you age. Remember, I asked about loneliness several responses ago and this digital genius remembered, and now is tying everything together. So it asks, if I want to take the next logical step, would you like to explore what kinds of social environments might best match your ocean profile? All I had to do was say yes. And with that, the digital wizard creates what it calls a personal connection map. This isn't just advice. This is a personalized GPS for my social life based on actual data. For openness, it calls me the explorer. Ooh. And it suggests groups where intellectual expression is welcome, warning me about boredom in conventional settings. Been there, done that. In conscientiousness, I'm the planner, with suggestions for volunteer projects. But it warns me about overcommitting out of duty. Protect your time. How does AI know that? It just gave me a better boundaries advice than these three self-help books I've read lately. Now, each trait gets this treatment. Personalized suggestions and specific warnings. It's like having a social life consultant who actually knows me. After that personality deep dive, I had an epiphany. Why should I re-explain my learning style every time? What if I could teach ChatGPT to be my perfect personal tutor for anything I wanted to explore? Well, this is where we enter the meta zone, teaching the AI how to teach me. And that's exactly what I did. I created what I'm calling the universal learning template, a single prompt that turns ChatGPT into your personal professor for literally any topic you throw at it. Want to understand quantum physics? This template's got you covered. You curious about 15th century pottery techniques? Same template. Need to finally figure out why your smartphone does that weird thing it does? You guessed it. In my next video, I'm going to hand you this game-changing template 
on a silver platter. We're talking about a prompt so powerful, it's like having a PhD level tutor who never gets tired, never judges your questions, and adapts exactly to how your brain works best. I'll show you how to customize it for your age, your interests, even your attention span, because let's face it, some of us aren't 20 anymore, and that's perfectly fine. But before you can get your hands on that template, I need to know that you're excited about this as I am. Hit that like button if this study mode just changed how you think about learning with AI. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell because I'm discovering new AI tricks faster than my wife discovers that I left dishes in the sink. Trust me, you don't want to miss the next video. This universal learning template is going to make every other AI conversation you ever had feel like small talk at a bus stop. I'll see you in the next one, where we turn ChatGPT into the teacher you always wish you had. Until then, keep exploring, keep learning. And remember, age is just a number. But curiosity, that's timeless.